guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Wednesday, so it's much work on Wednesday. And my little sidekick's not with me. She's napping. <laughs> I just got her to sleep. She's sleeping in the living room. Devin's in there playing guitar and Jesse's in there with him, so I'm taking this moment to record. <laughs> I started a new project. Should I? Probably not. I still got my sweater going and my Halloween uh, thingy. <laughs> but I wanted to do something that's kind of quick. And also, I'm going to enter into my fair. I'm hoping to enter stuff this year, just a few things, because I haven't been, that's not been my, my goal this year, because, you know, baby. <laughs> but there's a few things I'm going to enter. Uh, I'm going to enter my Queen Elizabeth, I believe. Maybe my Poison Apple for Halloween decoration. Um, my cat pillow that is like a patchwork cat. Hopefully, my Christmas blanket is right there. Um, I gotta make sure the ends are in good and then I'm gonna try to line it between now and the last week of August is when I have to enter my projects that week. Um, our fair is the first, the like, second of September through whatever nine days after that is. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm hoping to get some fleece or something for that. That's why it's out. And maybe a couple other things between now and then. But anyways, what I'm working on today is something for the fair and it's Christmas stocking. I found it on, um... YouTube. I just looked up YouTube videos for Christmas stockings and then it does end up, it does have the video tutorial, but it also has a written pattern that's free and it's by the Turtle Trunk, which I've heard, um, uh, thanks from them before. That's pretty good. You know, they got a lot of good patterns. This one's called the Country something Christmas stocking, Country Christmas stocking maybe, but you can make it in bulky weight with a bigger hook or worsted weight with an H hook. So I'm using, oh, you know what? It's supposed to be an I hook. Mine's gonna be smaller, but that's okay. I just remembered it's a 5.5 millimeter, which is an I, and an H is a five millimeter. But I already started it, so I ain't going back now. <laughs> but I'm using um, Red Heart Super Saver Aaron, big floppy one, and Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red, another big floppy one. <laughs> and this is all I got so far, because I just started it a little while ago, before June acted tired. So the uh, the toes, the heel, and the cuff are gonna be Aaron, and then the body is gonna be Cherry Red, and the body is done in front post double crochets and then regular double crochets because it's kind of kind of look like that hat that I made June it's gonna have the same uh, effect except it's gonna be every it's gonna be um, instead of lines it's gonna be <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for like teetered so it's gonna be the way this hat was supposed to look but I decided to do lines but it's gonna be cute I'll pop up a picture if I can remember of what it um, is gonna look like so I think it's gonna be cute and I'm gonna enter it in my stocking. I've entered a stocking um, every year. I started entering in 2016 and I entered every year except 2020 because of coronavirus. <laughs> and uh, I entered a stocking, I believe every time. Maybe not the first year. I can't remember, I'd have to go back and look. But um, I usually get a good ribbon in the stocking category because most of them are usually like sewn ones and then mine's usually the only one that's ever crochet. So I usually win in the stocking category but um I don't want to be arrogant so I hope I win this year but uh, like I said I'm only going to be entering probably less than 10 things because I don't really have the time to like dedicate to crochet and things like normally I would make wreaths and uh I would have a regular size afghan and a baby afghan have I made a baby afghan recently I made June one I don't even know where it's at because I've been using all the gifted afghans or baby blankets that we got I know I made her one, but I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I have to look for it. But, um, yeah, so I'm excited about it. I think it's turned out really cute. This part's done in half double crochet, and then you switch to double crochet. And then I don't know about the heel, because I haven't gone that far. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so my it was supposed to be made with an eye hook, and, which is 5.5. And I started it with an H for whatever reason. But So mine will be a little bit smaller, probably, than it's supposed to be, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be cute. And uh, so that's what I'm working on today. Also, I'm going to have the back update in a little while. It's almost three, so in a couple hours, my bags will go in the shop at five. So if you're interested in that, check it out. And then right here, I got some happy mail that I've got. I'm going to record a video. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, I got my knit crate, and then I got happy mail that I'm going to share. Uh, probably Thursday and Friday, two different videos. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Nothing else going on. We had to go looking for formula today. Our local Walmart was out of the formula that June uses, and it's the first time it's, they've been out. <laughs> so we had to go to the town next to us, which we had to get to anyways, because Devin had medicine that needed to be, to be picked up. So we found it, so I bought some, and I'm going to buy more this weekend, because I like having a good hoard of it, so that uh, if it is hard to find, we, you know, we have some on hand. I also have emergency formula in this. It's soy formula, 
which she doesn't eat. She ate at first and then it started making her real gassy. So I kept a can of it because it doesn't expire for like four years. And also got one bottle of the ready to serve formula, which is liquid, uh, that also expires in like two years. So I just, I kept them <laughs> instead of donating them to somebody uh, for just in case because of the formula shortages and all that. Uh, it'd be better for her to have some food instead of no food at all. So, but yeah, five more months and she won't need to eat formula anymore. <laughs> because she'll be six months on next Tuesday, the 26th. And then um, at 12 months, when she turns 12 months old, we can switch over to cow's milk. I might actually, I'm gonna talk to her pediatrician about maybe doing it at 11 months if the formula shortage is still a thing. Anyways, I am just blabbing now at this point. She's really interested in food, but she doesn't have to set up by herself yet, so I'm not giving her anything. Um, but she watches us eat. We've tried a few baby foods with her, but she just doesn't seem interested in it. So I'm just gonna wait till she can sit up and then I'll start giving her some actual food. <laughs> but um, she's really interested. She watches us eat everything go to our mouth. <laughs> That's cute, but I keep telling her, I was like, girl, you gotta work on your muscles. You gotta sit up. Cause if you can't, you can't sit up, <laughs> you can't eat food. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, well, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, he being sidetracked. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off here and get this up and then I'm gonna work on this some more while she's sleeping. Um, and then I'll get ready to update the shop. I already got all my bags and stuff out here, my mailers, so that I can maybe <laughs> package them up as they sell so because it makes it easier. But I'll probably won't. I'll wait until tomorrow and have to do them all at once before I go to the post office. But I already got two of the drawstring bags sold. There. Oh yeah, they're down here in the floor. I got a basket down there with them all in it. So I gotta package them up. Yeah, I'll worry about it. I'm excited about next month's knit crate. This month's knit crate was um, wool, but next month is cotton. So I'm looking forward to that. And there's a pink one, so I hope I get the pink one. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and work on this a little bit, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I think I'll do um, maybe the knit crate video tomorrow, and then Friday I'll do the happy mail video. Um, yeah, that seems good. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.